Hey guys, just wanted to do a short video today about backing up your files. Uh, as parents, one of the most important things is making sure that the photos that we take of our kids uh, are getting safely backed up so that we don't have to worry about losing them and not being able to recreate some of those moments that we've captured. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways that you can back up your files and I just wanted to go over a few of them. Primarily, a lot of times we're taking photos of our kids on our phones these days, and most services are now gonna offer a cloud-based option, which a lot of you are probably already using or are already aware of. Um, but I definitely would recommend taking advantage of those options. You have to weigh out the financial cost and how you feel about privacy and all those kinds of things, but having those photos backed up and kept safe on a cloud service is definitely one of the best ways to keep them safe and to set your mind at ease with those photos that you can't replace. The other options that you have are sending those photos to your computer whether from your SLR or from your digital camera or from your iPhone uh, and getting them saved on the computer and then backing them up to an external hard drive. There's tons of external hard drives in the market. I have a whole bunch of different brands. They're nice and tiny these days. I always recommend um, finding one now that you don't need to plug into the wall. Uh, most of them now are just USB powered and it makes it a lot easier. And I find the more barriers you remove to backing up your photos, the more often you'll do it and the more your kind of mind can be set at ease. There's a couple of things you want to keep in mind as well when backing up your files. The best option is if you can have your files backed up to an external hard drive and then have another external hard drive where you back up maybe less frequently and kept at a remote location. That's just going to make sure that if anything should happen to all of your stuff, if there's a power out, like a power surge, something that would you know really impact all of your files, that you have stuff backed up at a separate location that you don't have to worry about losing. A lot of people will put them into uh, a bank. Um, you can put them into a um, safety deposit box. Uh, but even, you know, at a neighbor's house, at a family member's house, just having things on a different location can be a really great way to keep them safe. Uh, another option, if you want to create a bit of redundancy, uh, is to use what they call a rated drive. And a rated drive are usually a little bit more expensive, but it's an enclosure that contains multiple hard drives and it's going to back up your files to the one drive and then make a second copy on another drive in case that drive fails. Hard drives these days are quite reliable, but there's always the risk of something failing, so you'll want to have everything in two locations. Um, the cloud services do take away some of that concern, uh, but there's always the worry of you know what happens to their data centers, what if something went down there. So having something stored locally and on a cloud server, in my opinion, is the best way to make sure that the files that you have are kept safe so you don't lose those photos of your kids growing up and those memories that you can't recreate.